The movie begins with a train passing through a field full of tall grass. Inside one of the passenger cabins, a man is reading a newspaper, patiently awaiting his arrival home. As he gazes out of the window, he notices glowing objects scattered within the tall grass, which makes him curious about what they are. Unexpectedly, the train comes to a sudden stop, leaving the man surprised. Driven by a mixture of shock and curiosity, he steps out of his cabin to investigate the cause of the unexpected stoppage. With a sense of wonder, he wanders around, only to find the other passengers peacefully asleep, leaving him with no one to speak to. He decides to investigate further and ventures outside of the train. However, his attention is captivated by the mysterious glow emanating from within the grass. He focuses on understanding what they are, but his contemplation is abruptly interrupted when a train officer instructs the man to return to the train, as the area is not safe. The man asks the officer about the reason for the stop, and the officer explains that it was intended to allow the train to build up steam for the engine, reassuring the man that there's no need for concern. Despite the officer's warning, the man expressed his desire to smoke a cigarette until the train resumed its journey. The officer ordered him not to stray far from the train and informed him that when they were ready to proceed, he would be alerted by the train's horn only twice, after which the train would depart whether he was on board or not. Reluctantly, the man agreed to comply with the officer's instructions. While the man was enjoying his cigarette and observing the illumination within the tall grass, he noticed that the lights were moving. His curiosity about the origin of the glow grew stronger. He decided to go and check for himself, venturing deeper into the grass and starting to search. It took a few minutes of searching, but despite his efforts to scan the surroundings, he couldn't find the source of the glowing. Just as he was about to give up, he heard the horn of the train. Right as he was considering returning to the train, movement stirred within the grass, startling him. His initial shock led to a rapid decision to retrace his steps back to the safety of the train. However, his attempts to return have become difficult, he now struggles to remember the way he came from, and it has become challenging to locate his position. He starts jumping to catch a glimpse of the train, but his view is obstructed by the tall grass. He tries to call out loudly, hoping someone will hear him, but there is no response. In this dire situation, he realizes that he is utterly lost amidst the towering grass. He starts to panic, realizing he could end up nowhere. He searches frantically for a way out, but suddenly, he hears the second and final horn of the train. He runs towards the sound, shouting and waving, hoping it's waiting for him. However, he loses his way again. Suddenly, he notices a light nearby. As he approaches, he stands frozen seeing a humanoid figure emerging from the luminous glow, rising from the ground. His panic intensifies as the man's gaze locks onto the faceless figure. Without warning, numerous creatures surround him. The man attempts to hide, but one of them catches sight of him and swiftly lunges in his direction. He flees for his life, pursued closely by the grotesque creatures. Suddenly, he stumbles into a pit. Upon regaining consciousness, his gaze falls upon a widening, horrifying more monsters drawing near at him. Struggling to climb out of the pit, he finds one of the monsters seizing his leg, endeavoring to consume him. Through quick action, he succeeds in striking the creature, narrowly escaping its grasp. With renewed determination, he swiftly ascends from the pit. As he stands there, he notices a train moving alongside him. Shouting for it to wait, he sprints toward the train with all his might. Just as he's on the verge of reaching the train, one of the monsters catches up to him. The creature prepares to devour him, but another monster arrives, resulting in an internal struggle as they vie for their meal. Amidst the chaos, yet another creature manages to catch him, and more horrifying monsters converge. Just as they are about to kill him, a transit officer arrives, wielding a flaming implement that terrifies the creatures and forces them to retreat. The officer's protection becomes a shield against the horrors that had threatened to engulf the man, guiding him to the sanctuary of the moving train, and ultimately granting him an escape from the clutches of the abhorrent monsters. In the safety of the train, the panicked man turns to the officer and asks about the terrifying creatures. The officer explains that most of them used to be regular people, but somehow they changed into the scary monsters they now see. The officer tells the man that the train always stops at this specific spot. Then, this strange, lighted opening appears, it's like a doorway connecting to another world. He informs the man that these creatures emerge from this rift, and every year, people go missing in this area. He tells him he was lucky to have survived from them, then warns the man not to tell others, as it's unlikely anyone would believe him. As they converse, the man becomes shocked by the officer's story, his gaze locked onto the scene. A tremendous glow radiates, and amidst his thoughts, he still can't fathom that he is alive. 